Hello everyone and welcome to the Gazelle Simple Weapon Tutorial. Uh, today I will be talking uh, about uh, the Gazelle uh, weapon system in a very simple way. I will try to make it as short as possible and I will be covering the three versions of Gazelles. Uh, the Mistral, the M and the L. Uh, uh, as usual I'm not gonna try to go as far as this is a very basic and simple weapon uh, for the Gazelle so I'm not going through too much details I will explain to you what you need to do exactly to use uh, the, the weapon for each version. Uh, right now I'm in the Mistral version and I'll start with uh, putting my Mistral arm on Actually, this key should be like a, the common one on the three versions. So this one is turned on right now here. And down there, we should uh, turn the uh, power switch on as well. And open uh, those red buttons, which is for uh, right uh, to activate the right and left uh, payload on the gazelle. And after that, we, we need to click this one to bring us the pilot side. And as soon as we bring it and we have everything on, uh, we usually gonna have like uh, this tone you, you just started to hear. Uh, just to say, like I had some trouble getting the tone clear uh, on uh, the gazelle, so I had to change my uh, my in-game sounds. Uh, you, you can just PM me and tell you what you can do uh, to get the tone a little bit louder. Uh, and as far as you see, this uh, beep is just cutting uh, slowly like this. So that means you need to get uh, this green circle and put it on a bandit rear or uh, put it on tail of a bandit and you will get a steady tone and you should be able to shoot. Uh, I'll show that to you in a second. Maybe before I take off, I'll just open my RWR and I usually used to do this. I just open this one for flare like this one also to be able to flare and that's what I'm usually actually like uh, doing before I just take off uh, so right now let's uh, give it a try and try to see how we can shoot the mistrals on uh, any airplane okay and here we're back again uh, we should have some uh, bandits just passing uh, close to us right now should just pass uh, somewhere behind me and I can hear actually their voice, their burners very close. Here we go, first one. Put this one on it. Here we go, this is steady tone I'm, I'm talking about. We got one splash. Let's wait any one more. Here we go, second one. Other splash here. Yeah, third one. It's pretty hard actually to put it. So you need to be very, like, uh, ready and have a good awareness about uh, the combat and the aircrafts around you. So that's a very simple way how to shoot the Mistral uh, weapon. And actually as soon as you just shoot all of them, you should uh, have, uh, like, this this uh, pilot side disappeared from, uh, from, uh, uh, from front of you, this green one. It's the pilot uh, there. Hello there. Glad you're okay. So let's uh, let's try again uh, and see something different, and jump to another uh, Gazelle version. And now we are on the Gazelle L version. Uh, not a very big difference between the Mistral and L uh, in the view here, except this shoot Mistrals and this uh, L just uh, rockets and guns. And I'll, I'll just start to rearm. Just put Master switch uh, arm switch on. Also, uh, the power zone, and for this, the difference gonna be between the Mistral and this one that when I open like uh, my uh, previous one was uh, left and right uh, uh, arming switch, so I'm gonna just on this one I'm gonna put the left one up, and the right one gonna when it, whenever it's up it's gonna be guns, and whenever it's down it's gonna be rockets. So I'm gonna put it on guns first, and get my pilot sight on. For some reason, I just have a bad habit about just putting the RWR and flare on. There we go. And I'm ready to take someone down here. So I have a couple of 8Ns on the ground. I'm just gonna try to intercept their takeoff really quick. And they should be somewhere here. If I, yeah, there they are. One of them. 
just zoom in a little bit to have clear view. I have one taxiing here to the left, one taxiing here. Let's get a little bit good angle on this and start to uh, shoot our guns. Here we go. He lost a wing and he ejected as well. Okay, let's turn again and get an angle on the second uh, guy here. And sorry, let's switch to rockets and making the turn. Just take your time, turn and get a good angle here. And we're gonna engage the second uh, guy on uh, trying to take off the second A10. Here we go. Second A10. It's going in. Looking for his friend, I guess, or he's turning back. Oh, turn back, sir. Sorry. Not today. Oh, he just ejected beside me. So that's all about uh, shooting uh, guns and rockets from uh, the uh, L version. And right now, let's take a look on the M version. And now we are on the Gazelle M version. A uh, little bit slight difference in the view when you take a look between the M and the other uh, two versions, uh, Mistral and L. Uh, however, we're just gonna start really quick again, just putting our master arm on. And for this one, we have to jump to the second receipt. However, I just still prefer to open my RWR and my my flares which is i think it's just a habit so right now i'm gonna jump to the second receipt by uh, pressing uh, two uh, on the keyboard and from now from here we're gonna start uh, open our uh, vcp power uh, and also we're gonna select here the vcp also our power selector and and this is gonna be the vcp vcb mode is I'm gonna put it on uh, uh, they call it aimed I think uh, sorry meant and opening my TV okay so also down there we need to switch the this button to make it on sure here and after that we need to have to select the payload we're gonna be shooting from so whenever we have a launch authorization you should see the symbol on the TV uh, this this white one uh, also this one or this uh, bottom gonna make you uh, zoom in and out with the, your TV uh, on the left side we need uh, to have uh, those covers on for the lasing and the launching missiles and quickly let's give it a quick try just gonna have a couple of uh, targets on the static objectives I think on the end of runaway so I'm gonna just try to put it uh, really quick on auto hover and here I am uh simply let's after all however let's start re-aim i usually just switch uh the camera back by putting this uh the mod like on any different one back to whatever i want and let's zoom in here start to take a look down there and auto hover should be by pressing q button and uh, the E button was for slaving, uh, uh, as far as I remember, toggle slave something. But whenever you do that, it's gonna keep just, uh, you know, putting your uh, plane towards the what you're exactly aiming on. So whenever you're gonna be turning uh, right or left, it's gonna be following this. And here we got uh, the symbol on the screen down right here, and we can just be start shooting our missiles. And we have one away. You don't need to move the cursor anyway because uh, it's gonna be followed by uh, it's, the, whatever you're gonna shoot or the missile you're gonna shoot. It's gonna be following this. So that's that's a good hit here. And let's have the second bandit or target actually. Oh, actually I forgot to select second payload here. There you go. Putting secondary missile. And good hit I guess. Yeah. And select another pylon. 
Can switch to the third target here. And hopefully we get a good hit in here. And it's a good hit as well. So that's all about uh, the simple way uh, to shoot with the gazelle. Uh, I try to make things pretty much uh, simple for everyone to learn it uh, uh, really quick. So if you like uh, the videos and tutorials I'm doing, just uh, please subscribe to the channel so I can uh, make more tutorials. And hopefully later I'll start to, after covering all the modules, I'll be going through like uh, uh, hopefully more advanced stuff for uh, each uh, uh, module for DCS. So thanks for watching and I wish you a good day.